Well, my name is Jeffrey Tiefertiller, and I welcome you back to our show, our channel of service management leadership. This is a YouTube channel that we look to take on some of the issues, questions, complexities of service management and distill them into very easy to understand short, short videos. Today's topic is, get this, service portfolio. Now, many people misunderstand this and make it way too difficult, but this is an easy topic. Bear with me. I welcome your feedback through comments or questions on email. Just, I enjoy the interaction. So, service portfolio is made up of three different aspects. You have the service pipeline, the services that are coming on board, there's a plan for them to be on board. There's SLAs, all that planned in the design phase, service design of the ITIL. ITIL framework, ITIL books, however people want to talk about it. Then there's the service catalog. Service catalog lists the services that are in production, both business and technical services. Each one of these services is a CI. It's a configuration item. It has an owner. It has attributes like every other CI. And then we have the retired services. We still want to keep them in our portfolio. We want to acknowledge their existence. But many times our service pipeline is replacing our service retired services. That makes sense, right? And so think of the services as a life cycle. It goes like this. It goes from pipeline in production services called the catalog to retired services. And so each service will have that, that life cycle, like everything else, right? And so let's consider that these services that are coming on board are coming on board and being designed to meet business needs, to be the technical services that support our business services, and that there's a purpose for them and our ones that are being retired are being retired for a reason. And so there's just this life cycle that these services go through. In addition, each one of these services, CIs, has relationships, as we spoke about in a previous video. And so a lot of the complexity of services that people misunderstand are all because of those relationships. And we'll get through that in another video. Last thing I want to discuss very, very briefly is there's a difference between the service catalog and the catalog for services that people can request from the service desk or the front end of the ITSM tool. <laughs> the catalog, I smile only because it sounds the same, but it's very different and it's often confused. I cannot tell you how often I get this question. So our service catalog is list the services that we provide to the business. Our catalog of services that can be ordered are the services to the individual person. I need a new PC. I need a software. I need a phone. I need something. That's what's ordered through the service desk. I need provisions, permissions, whatever. Our service catalog may be HR services, which include SAP, may include another ERP and have relationships to technical services that support them like infrastructure and things of that nature. So there's a difference between the service catalog and the catalog of services that can be requested through a service request, standard service request, standard change, things of that nature. I hope that clears up that. Once again, my name is Jeffrey Tiefer Tiller, and I thank you for joining our show, our YouTube channel of Service Management Leadership. And I hope that you will like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, offer feedback in terms of comments below or emails. I thank you very much for joining us, and I hope that you have a great day. We look forward to seeing you very soon on this channel.